We have taken a leaf sensor. You can put this on any leaf. Okay, Geranium, call if you need anything. It's a quarter inch in diameter and about an inch and an eighth long. How much water could be saved if plants could just let us know when they need a drink? With this leaf sensor, it's possible to find out. You will get this, what we call the water deficit stress reading. AgriHouse, a Colorado agriculture and biotech company, developed this sensor with help from the National Science Foundation. Here's how it works. When the plant starts drying out, the leaf contracts. That change can be measured in electrical voltage. One device every 20 or 30 acres could precisely communicate an entire crop's need for water. And then you can use that information to turn on and off the irrigation equipment. And that's the ultimate goal. Company founder Richard Stoner says the technology was first developed by University of Colorado aerospace engineers. They were looking at it as a device for going to Mars where the astronaut would have to spend over 70 to 80 percent of their waking hours farming. They need devices that would be in the greenhouses on Mars that would free up their time. But Stoner and his team realized there might be immediate benefits on this planet. The leaf sensor could pay off big for farmers and greenhouse owners. The Department of Agriculture tested the sensors on a Colorado research farm, irrigating only when the plants called for it, reduced water usage by 25%. The plant said, I don't need that much water. In Colorado, it could be as much as $100 million in savings to farmers. Wired sensors work on any crop or house plant. And engineering students from the University of Colorado are now testing a wireless version. The end user can just plug into the computer, get a wireless signal sent directly to it, and get instant feedback on what needs to be done. With almost 70% of the planet's fresh water going to agriculture, we could help conserve an increasingly precious resource by irrigating only when crops really need it. For Science Nation, I'm Miles O'Brien.